What up, YouTube? This is Double Haze again, part two of the SRDWC series. And uh, this one's going to be a real short video. I just wanted to show you guys a couple things that I left out on the last video. Uh, just to recap, on the last video, we showed you how to aerate your deep water culture system to the next level. We added a Venturi to the submersible pump on the side, which takes the water in through here. Goes in, shoots out through the submersible pump outlet. But right here we have a Venturi, which kind of mixes in oxygen into the water as it comes out. And uh, today we're going to show you how to supercharge this system. We're going to show you how to amp it up a little bit. One quick feature I left out last time is uh, I have a little tie wrap here. Drill two holes and loosely... Uh, wrap the tie uh, wrap around the plastic and I added a hose to it Well, the hose uh, I'm sure a lot of people know is to check your water level So we're gonna go ahead and open up the drain spigot and there's my water level right there This is very important in this system because like I said in the last video You want to keep your water level higher than the intake of the pump Because you don't want the pump to run dry so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Go ahead and turn this on. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the Venturi. There it is again. And uh, we're going to go ahead and attach the Venturi holes back here. And combine it to the air pump. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, I did. Alright, let me show you guys real quick. I'm going to hook this up. This is the line for the air hose. Start for the air pump. And I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Either way, it doesn't want to do it. And we're going to connect the, these two together. Now, it's, it's really light because it's not taking in too much oxygen right there. There we go. All right, there's the Venturi. It is attached to the air holes, but the air pump is not turned on. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see the difference. All right. There it is. Venturi on steroids. Went ahead and amped it up, took it to the next level. As you can see, it's aerating to the third power. It's just ridiculous. But uh, I suggest you guys run it off the different pumps. This pump right here is for the air stones. The air stones aren't turned on right now. Uh, the one in the middle is the one on the Venturi. Now, when I do turn on the ones for the air stone, the Venturi takes a lot away from it because it doesn't have to go through the ceramic diffuser like the air stone. So I do suggest you guys put it on a separate pump. Now this is at full speed. I'm not sure if uh, it's a good idea to run it like this, but you know what? It seems like it, it doesn't have that much pressure. It looks like it's not really going to damage the roots or anything like that. So you can run it. Now with these pumps, you can always turn it down a notch or completely turn it off. And you know, you like to run in something like this. The bubbles do seem larger when you run it at full speed. But if you were to have a bigger system or something like that, or if you have the extra cash, you can get yourself a static mixer. And it's basically an attachment you would put on the holes or maybe put on the front of the tip. And it's just a, like a tube with a metal or plastic spiral inside of it which basically mixes the solution even more. So like that, as the water comes out with the bubbles, it's gonna go ahead and mix even more. And what it shoots out is a fine mist of bubbles. Now, they are a little bit expensive, I did see. Uh, and I'm not sure how much improvement it's really gonna make. I have tried it with a piece of holes. I stuck it to the plastic part. A little short piece of holes, and I stuffed it with stainless steel uh, Brillo, I think it is, it's a scrubbing pad. And uh, as the water went through, you know, I had, I had to shuffle, shuffle through the mesh and all that. 
and then uh, the bubbles did come out a little bit smaller. It was it was a nice mist. The water was very well mixed in with the oxygen. But in I mean in this case, you can see you probably don't even need that. I mean this system is thumping. And uh, that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys how to amp it up a little bit. Once again, it's D Hayes. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll check you guys out shortly. If you have any comments or questions, or if I remember something I left out on video one and two, I'll go ahead and throw a third one. So check me out. Uh, the more questions, the merrier. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.